Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to part three of this little mini series I'm doing about the cycle of a relationship. Uh, part three is uh, asking her out. So at this point, uh, if you've gone on an excursion or you know, your first date and you feel like things are going well and you actually want to continue to see this girl um, or person, you know, I maybe I don't have just a male audience out there. Um, if you if you want to see this person and uh, you want to keep seeing them, um, eventually, <sighs> excuse me, um, things are gonna lead down the path of uh, an official relationship, um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, that kind of thing. So here's uh, here's a little bit of my story about how I uh, asked out a girl, and this was uh, not that long ago. It was a little. Well, it was almost uh, two years ago, a little, little bit less, a little bit less than two years ago. Um, it was Halloween night, um, and I had her over, we were going to watch a couple scary movies, I can't remember which ones we watched, uh, they are generic, you know, uh, B, you know, like low budget uh, horror movies, and, you know, they weren't that good. <sighs> I'm sorry. Ugh. So, you know, after uh, the movies are over, like, we're, not, we're just talking and hanging out a little bit. And uh, it was getting late, so she was getting ready to head home. And um, so I walked her out to her car, and uh, we we're just uh, talking a little bit more. And uh, we hugged, and then I said, hey, you know, is there, I was wondering if I could talk to you about something a little more serious. She said, yeah, sure, what's going on? Um, I told her I really enjoyed spending time with her. And, you know, uh, I, I asked her if she would, uh, you know, be my girlfriend. And, you know, uh, if you're a guy, that is, it's one of the most nerve-wracking, awful experiences you can have. Um, the tension is just so high. You're so nervous. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, butterflies just going in your stomach. Your heart's beating a million miles an hour. And, you know, if she says no, you're going to be crushed. So you don't want to get your hopes up too high, but at the same time, you want to hope and you want to believe that it's going to work out. And so what happened was uh, she said yes, uh, thankfully. And uh, it was nice, you know, like that that feeling of relief and happiness is just so sudden and so amazing. Um, it's, it's just a great feeling. Um, you know, if you felt that feeling before, you know what I mean. Um, this is kind of funny, actually, she told me later, excuse me, in our relationship, that if she had more time to think about it, if she wasn't running late to be home, she would have said no, actually, um, just because she didn't, uh, know exactly where it was going to go, you know, how serious it was going to be. Ugh. And um, I'm not going to lie that I would have been crushed and I don't think I would have, I probably would have stopped pursuing her entirely because it's kind of hard to come back from her, you know, come back from that, you know, putting yourself out there and just being denied. It wasn't, uh, wasn't something I wanted to deal with. Um, but thankfully at the time she said no, so we did end up dating and that was, uh, that was great. And, uh, that relationship progressed and it was, uh, excellent and, uh, Honestly, it was, it's one of those relationships that, uh, you know, you kind of dream about. And, um, you know, we'll talk about that a uh, little bit more in uh, later videos. This has been uh, part three of uh, this little mini-series of asking her out. I hope I helped you a little bit. Um, I guess all I can really say is when you're asking your girl out um, that you really like, yeah, keep calm. You know, um, most of the pressure should be off by now if you hung out a few times, uh, it's kind of the natural course of where things are going anyways, so, you know, uh, keep your chin up, you know, uh, if you haven't found, uh, this girl yet, um, to even have an excursion or anything, um, that's okay, um, I'm kind of, I've been in that boat where, you know, all your friends seem to be in a relationship at the time when you're not, and, it is frustrating. It really is. And eventually, uh, you will find that girl. Um, 
I know I'm, I'm sounding a little cheesy right now, but it's really late. Um, I'm really tired, and you know, it just makes sense to have a little bit of a sentimental uh, setup to this. So, you know, it's it's going to happen when you least expect it. So, if you're kind of worried that you're not going to find uh, that special someone for you, um, don't think like that. Uh, she's out there. Or if you're, you know, if you're a female, he's out there. You know, that, that person uh, you're supposed to be with is out there for you. Um, and they're looking just as hard as you are. So uh, just just keep your heart in it. Uh, keep your head held high. Um, I hope this uh, video helped you at all. Leave some feedback below. Um, I've started a Facebook page called the Awkward Journal Forum. I'll post a link in the description below um, if you want to like that on Facebook. Uh, we're going to have videos there, you know, some topics of discussion. Um, please, any feedback. Uh, I want to improve these videos as much as possible. I'm, I'm doing these for you. Um, you know, anything uh, we'll see you in the next video. Um, I'm not sure what that one's going to be called yet, but we'll get to it, and I'll see you soon.